Hi, this is Darren Lutchen here from 365 Assist. This is the first in a series that I'm going to make around Power Apps and the application lifecycle management. What that means is being able to develop Power Apps in an environment, in a development environment, and then moving that application across to different test and production environments, keeping version control, permissions, all that safe. This is the first one in how to create environments and creating solutions, or in other words, packages. So this is the first in that, in that uh, look out for more episodes as I, as I drop them out. So I'm going to create a new environment for development. Uh, I'll need to create a new environment for test and production later, but let's just start with the, the development one. So here I am in my Power Apps Make area and so I go up to the setting in the cog here and under admin center click on that this brings up a nice admin screen where I can administer all my different environments etc so I'll go across here obviously to environments on the left and here I've already got some predefined environments, but I'm going to create a new one for development. So up here on new, choose the name, development, environment, um, in Australia. Now the types you have, you have a sandbox and a few trial ones, and there'll be one for production later. But when you're doing development testing, use the sandbox one, unless you just want a temporary trial environment set up. So I'll do the sandbox. Uh, now I need to create a database for this environment because I'm going to be using the Dataverse. So I wanted some databases, a database ready in that. And I'll click next. Then all the rest is pretty standard. The language, the currency. Uh, I don't want to enable the Dynamics 365 apps in this case. And I don't want any sample data put in. And then we'll talk about security groups in another video. So I'll just hit save. And there it's preparing the instance of the development environment. It just might take a minute or two. So I've got, grabbed a cup of coffee and come back. And you can see now that the, after I refresh the screen, the development environment's ready. And I don't really need this page at this stage. So I'm just going to close that. Come back to my Power App screen. Just refresh that. And now what I've got up here in the settings under environment, I'll have my new environment sitting there. So there it is there, the development environment. So I want to make sure I select that. You may want to make this as a favorite so you can go in regularly uh, and you've got a new environment. So the only way you know here is, is saying that uh, the, the topic there is development environment. The next thing I want to do is add my solution where I'm going to start building my app. So, and we need solutions because that's the way we're going to package up all the apps and send them across to the test and the production environments. So it comes with some standard solutions. You don't have to worry about them. At this stage, we're going to create under the environment, we're going to create our first new solution. You can create multiple solutions if you've got different apps, uh, we can do that as well. So I'm just going to create a new solution. And this solution is, I'm going to call it, similar to what the app name is, but I'm going to call it uh, My Pets Solution. Okay, so just to show you that it's, it's what it is. Now you'll need, you can use change the name, but you need to select a publisher and you might want to create a new. So when you drop down the publishers, there's your um, tenancy publisher and your default publisher. It's always good to create a new publisher. And the reason is this is as you pass these on, you want to know who the person is that, uh, that manages this solution. So I'm going to call this... Um, Darren, I always like to put the word in when I'm playing around with it so I know what it belongs to. So publisher, you know where, where you are. So Darren, publisher, display name. I'll do the same for the name. I might have to take the space out of it. Put a description in. Uh, you can put a new prefix, which is always good. Don't leave it as new. So Darren will be my prefix, so I know it's me. And then we're going to save that publisher. And then we can use that publisher here, right here. So Darren Publishers. And we start off with the first version, and we'll go and create that uh, that new solution. So now I have my new pet solution, okay? Nothing's in it. If I open it up, there's nothing in it.
that's ready ready to go ready to add apps ready to add flows add whatever we want 